This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Idalis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Maria, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Chappie, Kayla, Tequila, Irene, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Kibbs, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, and Lydia. If you'd like to support this channel, especially since it's unmonetized, and receive cool perks every week like exclusive audios and exclusive novel readings, the link is in the description. Come in. Hi. <laughs> yeah, um, hi. I... Hi. Yeah, I managed to get him out of here. Uh, they kind of owe me at this point, and they have expressly stated that they owe me on a multitude of levels. So I'll make sure to cash in on those in the future. No, of course I didn't. No, 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 no shot at all whatsoever did I tell them. Uh, they, they, they suspected something was going on, but not what was actually going on. Trust me, I would never do, I, I, I would never expose that information about myself, let alone expose that information, uh, if it would pertain to someone else. Trust me, I would not do that at all. Well, I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, I'm really, 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 really glad you're here. I've already committed to... Uh, this and I haven't had a date. Is it okay if I call it that? Good, 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 good. I haven't had a date where I can cook food for them in a really long time. Actually, I haven't had a, a date in a really long time, but that's besides the point. I hope you like some classics. Yeah, uh, I have this really, really, really interesting, like, vodka sauce thing that I want to try out, so, uh, yeah, no, it's, it is vodka sauce, but, uh, one of my friends is an actual chef, and he's been working on stuff with vodka sauce, and he showed me one of his recipes, and he was like, hey, if you ever have the time, you should absolutely try this out and let me know how it tastes, because, we used to, we, we, we took home ec back in like middle school together and that's kind of where he found his passion for cooking. So, uh, and, and, and I was with him there. So he can't, he trusts my taste. I, I think, I hope. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, it's, uh, actually, I just, uh, lucky timing, I guess, plated it a couple of minutes ago. So, uh, if you want to sit down and eat, we could maybe turn on some music and have a nice dinner together. Yeah, no, I, I am, uh, I am not trying to avoid having the conversation that very much needs to be had about what happened. Uh, but I do kind of want to have dinner first. Uh, because uh, spaghetti and meatballs isn't really a thing that uh, you can have that's cold and it, reheating it doesn't really taste great, at least in my opinion. So, okay. Uh, well, why don't you sit down and I'll put something on? I swear. I swear that is exactly what happened. Well, now, now, in what what would I have to gain to lie about that? I just figured this out. What would I? Well, why would I lie about that? What? 
And why would I want to make my friends seem cool? If anything, because of the stunt they pulled by coming home early without even telling me that they were on the road, I would want to make my friends look as uncool as possible. Honestly, no, no shot there. I would never lie to you about this. <sighs> Well, whether or not you're going to believe me about this, it happened. It did happen. How do I know it happened? And it's not them telling me this. I saw a picture of him running, like 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 a, like a, like one of those pictures, but it's like a a, a a moving. It's like a video picture. I don't exactly know. I'm not great with technology. I don't exactly know how to label it specifically. But he's running, and he's he's he's. he's bare buttocks are out and and it is it is crazy and the girl is chasing after him i swear to god i swear to god you know if i i will ask quincy if i can get it from him and if i can get it from him i will absolutely send it to you no absolutely i'm i am not violating any privacy and if i am violating privacy it's just buttocks and if i am violating privacy then then this is a complete and utter retribution for them violating my privacy first of all i don't even know why they came in my room they're not coming room people we're not coming room people we don't just randomly stroll through doors without knocking or asking or anything like that <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. So, uh, you finished. Did you like it? Was it good? Did you enjoy uh, the food? Uh, okay, good. Spaghetti good. Meatballs good. I've heard everything I need to hear. Marinara good. How's the vodka sauce? Duly noted. Duly noted, I will absolutely tell him that you said that. And then, guess what? I can place the blame on if it's actually good or not enough to be gourmet uh, on you and not me. And he finally won't get mad at me for once. He always does that. He always, whenever whenever something doesn't perform well for him, he's like, oh man, no, no I shouldn't have trusted your taste buds. I'm like, dude, if you didn't want to trust him, don't ask me in the first place. <laughs> And you are quiet. And that means that you're done eating. And that means that we have to have the conversation, don't we? Okay. Yeah, no, I, I prepared for it for ever since you left. Uh, so I'm not, I, I, I'm not feeling comfortable, but I'm feeling as comfortable as I possibly can be. So, uh, do you want to sit on the couch while I go, uh, put these plates over in the sink and, uh, I will wash them later, but, uh, this, this takes precedence right now. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I guess I can start from over here. Uh, uh so it was really nice what we did. I really, really enjoyed doing it with you. I had a very, very, very good time. Uh, it happened organically and it happened naturally and it was nice. And I liked the direction that it was going in. The problem uh, is me, first, of, first and foremost. And this isn't a, it's not you, it's me situation where I'm just using it to cover up for the fact that I actually didn't want something to happen. Uh, it is me. Uh, and I will have reasons to back that up, but uh, I just need to get that out right now uh, at the front of this conversation because uh, what I'm about to say next is gonna be pretty difficult. I... That type of stuff is really difficult for me, just in general. I have had a lot of relationships in the past. And I have had those types of interactions in the past uh, a lot. I'm not someone who's this, you know burgeoning virgin who doesn't know anything and is just like oh i don't even know what genitalia are. goodness me no i'm i'm very 
aware of all of that stuff and I have participated in everything you can imagine. And that's kind of the problem. Yeah, uh, so I've never done anything outside of a long-term relationship where I felt really comfortable about uh, with the person, or at least I thought I felt really comfortable with the person. So, um, when you look at me, what do you see? No, I'm being like really serious. This isn't a joke. When you look at me, what do you see? Because the first thing that a lot of girls see is he is 6'4". His bones are as big as my whole entire body parts. Like my wrist, the bone in my wrist is literally as big as people's wrist with the skin on if that makes any sense i don't know um very broad i'm like 240 250 so i am big and uh i have been told that i look smoldering slash intimidating Although I've never really thought of myself that way, but, you know, I will, enough people tell you that, then you believe it. And when it comes to interactions in that type of setting, someone like me gets characterized into a very specific stereotype very easily. And that stereotype is uh, of a person who is in the dominating position. Like, yeah, a dom. And I... I don't know. But... I've had these long-term relationships where I was previously very unexperienced in that realm. And these girls, and I'm sorry, I I know that the, the worst thing you can do possibly on a first date is talk about your exes, but in order for you to understand why that happened, how it happened, when it happened, and what I, why I said what I said, you gotta get through this. Uh, a lot of of all of my long-term exes and my first one uh and all of them on really i know i'm just trying to get to, to trying to find a way to say this they fit me into a certain mold that they wanted for themselves they wanted a very dominating guy in the bedroom to the point where it what like over the top like to the like like to the point where choking was involved and slapping was involved and degradation was involved And I am someone, uh, the one thing I do know about myself in just a romantic sense or anything, I will do anything to make my partner happy and pleased. And so I would do that for her and then for every relationship going forward, even though I didn't necessarily feel very comfortable in that regard. And I would say that I wasn't comfortable in that regard occasionally. I would I would have the, the courage to speak up about it. And it was just kind of dismissed because, oh my God, you're 6'4", you're 240, you're perfect for being that. And so in, in that situation that we were in, I didn't know what to do really. 
because since I have been molded in that way in every single relationship that I've had, I I haven't been able to really have my own agency in that realm and I haven't been able to properly digest what I like and what I want because for all intents and purposes I could like being a dom I really could but because I was forced into it and then continued to be forced into it without exploring any other real avenue other than that, I don't know if it is because I felt uncomfortable doing it. And when we were doing that, A, I didn't know what to do. And then B, up until my my last relationship was the one that kind of set me off and was like, huh, I definitely think that there's something not right here. And it made me really scared. Uh, and all, all of the revelations just kind of came to of like six years of really, really, really terrible, terrible relationships uh, in that realm. And I panicked and I didn't, I just didn't know what to do. So I panicked. And I started spinning things out, and I got myself into the, uh, the the situation that I'm in now. So if uh, TLDR, I guess, I, I hope you've been listening, you've been looking at me this entire time and nodding, and you look engaged, but I don't know, I'm also uh, used to people not exactly listening to what I have to say. Uh, if you can believe that, if that syncs up, if you believe that that syncs up to what I've been telling you about other aspects of the relationships that I've had, uh, I've, I don't know who I am in that regard. And I don't want, I, I, I don't want a random truth or dare situation to be. And I'm not saying it was random with you. That leads into my next point. But it wasn't random with you. But it was just the kind of spontaneous or, or kind of arose out of nowhere. And I don't, I don't know if I feel comfortable enough uh, doing that. So yeah. And this leads into my next point. So I'll I'll get to that because, uh, well actually before I get to all of that, uh, do you? Is, are we okay? No, I don't... I... I've talked to some of my friends about this stuff. Not in as depth... Uh, in As in depth as I did with you, but I have talked to them. And I've gotten the classic toxic masculinity. What do you mean, bro? She wanted you to choke her. That's so hot. OMG, I wish I was you. I wish I was like six inches taller. And uh, needless to say, although in my head, there's a part of me that knows, hey, they, they're wrong and you're totally entitled to feel the way that you feel part of me wonder there's there's the other part of me that like is the constant self-doubt it's like what did what if they're right what if you're just being overly sensitive about this and what if you're remembering it improperly and yeah okay okay thank you no, no, I'm I'm being serious. Thank you. That means that means so much to me to feel validated in that way. I it really does. And I guess that's how I can transition into what I have to say next. Uh and since you took that well and I hope you'll take this well. 
another part of why I didn't want, I, I was a little nervous about continuing to go forward and I said what I said and all that. Um, I, I didn't want to do anything before I knew your feelings for me. Yeah, your feelings for me. I know we, I, listen, I get that we flirt. Okay, I'm not super oblivious. I'm oblivious to a lot of things, but that the, the, if I was to be oblivious to the fact that you and I flirt, that would be kind of ridiculous. And I, the, 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 that level of social awareness is not something you would want to be in a relationship with. I get that. Flirting is a lot different than romantic interest, though. And as I said, I kind of had that realization with my last relationship and... Uh, when I went to therapy, a lot of the things that I talked about, or one of the major things that I talked about was focusing on myself and the things that I need and understanding that those things that I need aren't deterrents. They are there to, they are there to help me. They are not things that are to be just like struck down by other people. They are there to set up boundaries and under, and, and for people who I care about to follow those boundaries and for people who don't care about me to not follow those boundaries and for me to put those people out of my life. And I am a hopeless romantic at heart. I can't help it. I really am. So I, I before we did anything further than what we were doing at that moment, I wanted to know if you were had feelings for me. Hey, 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 no, no little punches or whatever you're doing here. Don't do that. I didn't know because, you know, people flirt and people, and, and that's harmless enough, but I don't know. I, I guess I never really, I, I guess I just couldn't decipher it in that way. So I'm, I'm obviously I'm ecstatic to hear that. Um, would you like to go steady with me yeah i said go steady it's it's fine it's a very it's an old-fashioned term that i like to use is that is that such a problem okay no no what is the problem oh do i have i been having this whole conversation with spaghetti sauce on my face why didn't you tell me oh you're gonna So is, is that a yes? Okay. Hey, 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 listen, part of me wants to say yes, but I don't think I put out after a first date. I don't think that's the type of person I am. However, you are very, very welcome to stay over here. Yeah, I, uh, I, I told you I got the guys out of here and they're out of here until tomorrow night. So we have the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> Shut up. I know that it is perfect for that then, but, uh, we're not, I don't, it's, I don't know. I want to take you out at least on another day before I show you the business. Hey, just because I was I'm, I, I revealed my insecurities for you doesn't mean that I can joke and laugh about them, okay? So, your your choice. You can either stay here and maybe have a marath movie marathon with me with promise of making out in the future, or you can leave and guarantee no making out tonight. The choice is yours. And from the way that you were feeling my lips, I think I know what the choice is. Exactly. All right. You go get the movie started and I will go wash the dishes. And hey, uh, one more thing. Yeah, come here. I 
I want you to know that I really appreciate you for listening to me like that. And I feel very, very, very comfortable around you. And when the time comes, the time will come. But I need you to be patient with me, okay? Okay.